have to deduce the contradiction to resolve this matter. Oh, really? Crime scene notes added to the court record. Okay, wait, so can I examine more on this? Yeah, there is more. So there's a deduce thing. What about logic? Uh, what was the sound that came from Mr. Master's room? The victim appears to have been beaten to death with a blunt object. The desserts Mr. Master made were damaged in several places. The stand that supported the ship was broken, caused the ship to tip over. Um, broken stand, breaking sound? Nice! Due to the broken stand, the ship lost its balance. It would seem Miss Hall entered the room upon hearing the ship collapse. Yeah, when Miss Hall entered the room, the ship had already fallen over. At any rate, I wonder why the stand broke. The ship fell over because the stand broke. Why did it break? Maybe there was something wrong with the ship's balance in the first place. Is that really true? Um, the ship fell over because the stand broke. Why did it break? The Zerus Mr. Master made were damaged in several places. Is it this easy? Yes! Each of Mr. Master's works had a piece that was missing. Add to that the fact that the ship's chocolate stand was broken. I think we can surmise that someone ransacked this room. And the one who did it could be the true culprit. That I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that the ship's stand got broken when the room was ransacked. Also, I'm pretty sure the true culprit isn't the ransacker. At least I think so. I, I'm thinking so. And when the ship fell over, it broke the treasure chest lid. I expect the, the lid of the treasure chest was originally closed. Okay, so any new logic at all? No. Um... No, it's in the crime scene. The body was uh, recovered. Touch the check button for details. The victim's body was found in a treasure chest made of chocolate in Jeff Master's room. The cause of death seems to be a hard blow to the head by a blunt object. Is it the blanket? Like, there should be a blanket there, and it's not anymore? I guess that's the contradiction? Let me try it. Um, so it'll be this part, I guess. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? And then... Uh, I guess it would be... This? Eureka. He has a neat Eureka, though. I like it. This part is contradictory. It contradicts this piece of evidence. This ship is... Confectionery? How oh, sweet. Uh, not what I said. Otherwise, we could board the ship and sail down the Chocolate River. What an unpleasant dismissal. Let's calm down and inspect the crime scene once more. Okay, if that's not it, then I don't know what it is. But he says here- wait, no! Didn't he say the photo contradicted something? I feel like something that was here before isn't anymore. The blanket, right? Wait, what? It's the blanket, isn't it? What else is there to be missing? Was I clicking on the wrong spot? I don't know. I'm gonna give up for now. Let's try this over here. Okay. Um, so there's a deduce part. Wait, wasn't there a deduce part here? What happened to the deduce part? I thought there was a deduced part. Whatever. These finger marks are... These are unidentified finger marks. We don't know who they belong to. Since no fingerprints were left behind. Finger marks without fingerprints means gloves. If you relate to the case. Well, they don't necessarily mean gloves, actually. Uh, I'm just remembering 
way back in uh, case four, uh, the DL6 case of the first game um, of the normal Ace Attorney series, uh, Yandy Yogi burned his fingers off, right? So he didn't have prints anymore. Um, well, I mean, he, he burned his fingerprints off, so he had fingers, but he didn't have prints. But uh, maybe there's something similar going on here. Because, like, that sous chef, I'm going to call him a sous chef, um, even though he's not, uh, he keeps, um, I guess I could call him the dough chef. Dough chef might be better. Uh, he said he has a lot of injuries, so maybe he burned his fingers off? Maybe. Fingerprints. Meh. Or maybe it's just gloves. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply. It's a mystery! He's probably wearing gloves. Uh, Detective Bad lacks dream and romance. I don't think there are dreams or romance in a murder case. Uh, uh, achoo! And there's the coughing again. Are you alright, Raymond? Uh, this room is way too cold. <laughs> I, uh, let me just stroke my coat to show you, um, oh, look at my warm coat. Look at how warm it is. Too bad you don't have one. Wow, Gregory. What a bitch. The fountain patio wasn't very warm either. This room certainly is cold. Do you want to wear my coat? Oh, okay. So you're not such a bitch after all. Nope, I'm fine. I don't think Miles would ever offer that. Because that's something that you promised to give me when I became a defense attorney. Oh, really? Does he wear that coat in the future? I don't think he does. He wears the hat, though. <laughs> that's right. Why is the temperature turned down so low? It's been turned down in order to maintain the chocolate's temperature. Duh! You're a detective. How would you not know that? Why don't you try opening the panel cover on that wall? Panel cover? Oh, neat! There's a secret panel hidden there? This control panel is installed in all the rooms Sir Master prepared. So as not to de detract from the dessert presentation, the cover was closed to conceal it. What does the panel do? It allows you to change the temperature and the lighting in the room. In order to preserve any type of dessert, it can go down to about minus 22 F. Yep. The room will be the f will be like a freezer. It's set to 59 F. No wonder I thought it was cold. Yeah, I know F means Fahrenheit, but um, 59 F. They use weird temperatures. Like, I think this is the U.S. temperature system. Because, um, in Canada, I'm pretty sure we use Celsius, um, I believe, and Celsius makes more sense. Like, something 59 would not be considered cold, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I'm speaking out of my ass. I don't know that well, but I'm pretty sure, um, 59 is warm in Celsius, I think. Detective Bad, I'm not allowed to change the temperature, am I? Preserving the crime scene is the foundation of being a detective. If you even come an inch closer to that panel, I will cut you in half with my lollipop. But I'm not a detective! Defense attorney can't recklessly damage a crime scene either. Indeed, so assisted. Enduring hardship is also part of training. In order to preserve chocolate, 59 Fahrenheit to 64 Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. Hmm, the ideal temperature for chocolate, as expected of the dessert chef. No, it is but a trifle. This is basic knowledge that anyone should know if they are a dessert chef. So, what's the ideal temperature for candy and fresh cream? As long as you watch out for humidity and hot temperatures, candy shouldn't melt. Wow. For fresh cream, around 50 Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. You need to watch out for the humidity and hot temperatures for candy. I see. <laughs> oh, bad, I love you. Detective Bad, he seemed a bit happy when they were talking about candy. <laughs> oh, bad, you're great. Is candy one of his favorite things? That reminds me of Gaius. I've been playing Awakening. Um, uh, and... <laughs> 
Speaking of Fire Emblem, though, mini rant. I'm about to end the session, and I was thinking about this before I started, so I might as well get this out of the way. Fire Emblem Fates is two different versions? What the balls? I've been talking so much about how I'm interested in that game recently. Like, it's gonna be great. But two versions? What? You're supposed to make a choice partway through about which side you want to go on, not make the choice before you even buy the game. They better bundle them like they're, they're doing in Japan, and it better not be too expensive, because I'm buying the bundle, but like... They make this whole big deal about you, you play through the first bit of the game and it's the same in both versions because you have to make a choice and they want you to see both sides before you choose a side. But if you're going to make it two different versions of the game, you can't see both sides before choosing a side. You have to choose a side before you buy the game. It's fucking stupid. Anyways, rant over. I'm still excited for Fates, but that is bullshit. Okay. Um, I already checked this early, er, early, but never still can. Oh, saying that means we're done here, right? That's what it means if he says that, yeah. Although I can check the panel, I think. Oh, wait, what? But he said the thing. He said the thing that means we're done here. Ah, oh, whatever. I guess it just means there's nothing important left. It seems this control panel can change the temperature and the color of the lights in this room. Colors are red, yellow, green, blue, cyan, and white. It sure is a lot. This room's temperature is 59F, and the lights are set to white. It's because the works in this room are made of chocolate. By using white light, the chocolate can stand out. Oh, so what are the other lights for? I'd like to know. For Mr. Master, everything in the room is probably a piece of art. Including the control panel. It's the biggest piece of art of all. Okay. But for serious, I'm gonna think I have to end it now. But uh, next time, we'll maybe find out what's going on with this. Because we have to do something here. And beyond that, yeah. Um, we'll continue on this case. It's been interesting so far. It's cool having Bad around. But oh my god, my voice. Do between doing Bad, doing Mustafia and doing Gregory, which is just a deeper-pitched Edgeworth, and Edgeworth already isn't my natural voice? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I'll see you guys next time. Still don't have an outro phrase. Bye.